Hello, and welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Uh, those of you that follow the channel know that it's been a while since I posted anything. So today we're going to be doing the 1756 HSC or high speed counter uh, module. It's also used with encoders which is the uh, replacement for the PLC 5 card, the V1771 VHSC. So this is a two channel card. You can hook up proximity switches, limit switches, uh, shaft encoders. And today we have a Allen Bradley 845T uh, optical encoder. It's 250 pulses per revolution. Got it all wired up. We'll go over the wiring in, in a minute. This is the card counter. Uses a 36 pin wiring arm. And uh, it's actually, once you get it figured out, it's not too bad to work with. Uh, the only thing at this point that I haven't figured out, which is not a big deal, is the reset bit. Um, I'll figure that out at some point. But for just straight testing and basic programming, it's uh, mostly done in the software. So what I've got is I've got this set up uh, as it rotates around, hits a, hits a preset number, light turns on through the counter out, uh, outputs on the module, and I've got, it's got four outputs. One's, uh, each one can be individually controlled by one counter or the other, it doesn't matter. You can control them all by the same. So there we go, that's the basics. So. Um, Next step is I'll have it in the chassis. We'll do a quick rotation of it and show you the lights go on and off and you know the little display that you're going to see here. And then we'll move over to the computer and do a quick walkthrough on the setup in the software. So there we go. Uh, shouldn't be too long and be you know hopefully I don't uh, ramble on. Uh, back in a minute. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, we have the card in the chassis, and you can see a couple of lights on on the chassis. Now those are the uh, encoder inputs, and as I slowly rotate the shaft, this is a 250 pulse per revolution encoder. You can see the uh, indicating lights showing that you've got your input for channels A and B on both um, sides. Now this was an experiment I tried. I have one encoder only and the wiring is paralleled into both channels. The four outputs at the bottom with 24 volts to turn on the pilot lights is all independent. So yes, this is a question I always had, yes you can run two channels with one encoder. So as we go up in our encoder. You can see, you know, the faster we turn it. So there's our first output on and 100 pulses later in the way I've got it set up right now. Second one, another 100 pulses. The third one, another 100 pulses. The fourth one and, and then 100 pulses later it resets at zero and just keeps going round and round. So pretty basic operation. Um, if you go one way you're, you can use the encoder for an up counter or a down counter whichever depending on the direction you're moving and you just adjust your logic to suit what it is that you want to do. So that's the basic part. We've got our A channel, our B channel, our four outputs and our uh, 24 volt power going to the uh, for the lights. Now if you uh, wanted you could use common and out to the lights. Uh, it all depends on your situation. So next th step is we'll go into the configuration of the module um, and just go over it real quick and that's all there's nothing really magical about this. So just get turned around here and be right back. So here we are back in the computer. So if we go down to here 
on the left hand side you can see that the module is in slot 4 double click it brings up the module properties box so there's our name there's the connection it gets uh, requested packet at 10 milliseconds there's all the module info it's version one, firmware 1.4 uh, it's a series A no faults so now we go to the counter configuration which is the main one that everybody uses Let's just zoom in there so there we go so the counter configuration is where you set up how your uh, module what is going to happen so in this case we're in counter mode but we could pick encoder mode we could pick any of those there and both channels and our rotation is set up at 510 which is where we roll over and back to zero so now we go to the output configuration we'll go to channel zero it comes on we're set to channel output zero tied to counter zero comes on at a count of 10 off at a count of 410 channel 1 same thing 110 410 channel 2 tied to counter 1 which is why I like to have the two of them together 210 410 and the last one is 310 410 and then it resets at 510 and turns over so if you're just using a straight single direction and that's it it works really well just for that so now we'll just uh, close that like if you want to do more configuration uh, just open your software open that box and away you go now in this screen we have the controller tags and if you look right down get right in there and we zoom right in so there's our current encoder count and if I turn my encoder shaft you can see how it goes up and up and up it's being at 250 pulse it takes full, two full revolutions 510 and rolled over to 10 reset same thing just keep going and it'll do this forever at each of those set points the lights on the board come on the outputs happen 24 volt or 5 volt or negative um, this particular encoder just uses 24 volt so it's hooked up to the uh, 24 volt input you can also use a 5 volt input uh, encoder card or a proximity uh, that's all in the wiring diagram and the setup so there we go that's how easy it is to set set up to test an HSC card and if I go opposite direction you can see how it counts down in the opposite direction and when it, we get to that point all four outputs turn on again and then we step backwards so real simple there we are thanks a lot for hanging in there all these uh, months that I haven't been able to get things uh, posted again hopefully I can get some more here in the next little bit and uh, come back anytime subscribe if you'd like Thank you very much and have a wonderful uh, holiday Christmas season. That's what it is now, depending on what time of year it is you watch this. Have a great time.